Hi, I'm Glenn of Rain Access Solutions. Welcome to my vlog. On this episode, we have a typical USB to VGA adapter, which we have been using to have multiple monitors and it became faulty after a year of use. I'm going to open it up and we will try to repair it. The first thing that we need to do is to inspect it under a microscope. We need to check for any physical defects or any component that has gone wrong. So for starters, I always try and find any burnt capacitors, burnt um, uh, resistors, or any signs of burning in the um, logic board. Sometimes I also look for any broken items when people accidentally drop this or hit this with a hard object. Sometimes it also helps to check for any loose arms. So what I do is I just poke them with plastic and see if there's any loose items. If I can't find any defect from physical inspection, then I will go to my um, multimeter tester. So this way, I always go for any capacitors or and measure voltage on of the resistors near the places where usually the power goes in. As you can see and heard, my multimeter just beat. It means that there's a shortage on the components that I just tested. Now I'm going to use my SIG thermal camera to verify which component is getting hot and are shorted. Now I am injecting one volt to the logic board and as you can see there are three components that are getting hot. The first one on the right is normal due to the uh, components on the middle and on the top left being shorted. you can see and hear this resistor is shorted now we're going to try and replace this and see what will happen
Let's cool the logic board down again so we can use the multimeter. As you can see, the short is gone for the capacitors and the resistor. Now we're just going to replace these two components and then we will test it. Okay, after replacing the faulty components, this USB to VGA adapter is still not working. And when I test it under the infrared camera, it's showing um, that the main Fresco Logic FL2000 is getting hot and it's faulty. So now I'm going to plug the USB uh, to my IC 1505TD power supply and we will see and we will demonstrate why uh, this device is still not working despite replacing all those uh, faulty components. As you can see, I'm going to inject 1 volt and less than 1 volt. And there you can see that the main Fresco Logic FL2000 IC, which is in what is in the middle of this uh, logic board, it's getting hot. So what more if I inject, I mean, if it uses 5 volts, then it will really get hotter. So I'm just going to find the replacement for this IC. Thank you very much for watching. If you find this uh, video useful, subscribe have a nice day everyone